Right, it's half five in the morning and I, I've just about had enough. Um, so I want to really appeal to Her Royal Highness Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, Prime Minister Johnson, and just really meekly give my testimony and give my heart and thoughts. Um, I don't know where to start because there's so much so much going on in our world today. We, um, I see darkly. I, I certainly don't know um, what what the royal family's experiencing, what they see, um, and what President Johnson has to and his, his government have to um, contend against. So um, I'm just going to be bold and honest, and uh, I pray for just like. Just pray for your ears and to be merciful and gracious. I don't know, I know the coronation oath and I know that when uh, your majesty was uh, coronated she swore an oath to keep out popery, keep out uh, any, any machinations of the Pope out of our nation. And I love my nation, I love, uh, I love my country, I'm very grateful to be born in Great Britain, in England, in the UK. Um, watching the, the kabunkle of uh, Brexit and the uh, Supreme Court palaver and uh, the coverage of the wicked media and how politicians play to the media one day as a friend and then it's against them as its enemy in a blink of an eye and the truth is left by the wayside um, and, and, and you talk about the law going, oh you know, go, we go by the law, we go by the law we always go by the law well the law's been broken left, right and centre continually uh, since the breaking of the coronation oath and uh, uh, who was it? Was it Justin Welby, the Archbishop, and that's a blasphemous title. And it's um, according to the Word of God, it's an apostate religion. So um, th that that's not that's that's a ma that's not a matter of my business. But uh, that's just I'm just being honest. And the coronation oath is to keep out popery out of our, our nation and affairs and uh, I think of Oliver Cromwell, we need a hundred Oliver Cromwells today if we're going to um, ever get our freedoms and our rights back for our nation and uh, the law, you know the Supreme Court, well that was all illegal, It was was it legal to go into Europe in the first place? I've, I've read accounts of Teddy Heath being blackmailed because he was a paedophile and so that was um, an illegal deal, but I can't clarify that, I don't know, because there's so much uh, truth suppressed. Um, and you, the law has been broken, and there's uh, people suffering, we've got, um, we've had all this immigration for, from Europe dictated, rammed down our throat. So we're prisoner to this uh, power and no one's being honest about it and and um, it's 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 your duty to deal with these things so I don't know your majesty who who you go for counsel who's your spiritual counsellor somebody you trust in but I just want to share a scripture uh, Jeremiah 17 um, thus saith the Lord cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make your flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord. Let me read another scripture, John. So, Your Majesty, if you are a, a Christian and you, you love God, you love Jesus, I don't know your heart. I pray for your family, I pray for our country, I pray for our Prime Minister. I don't agree with everything, but I, I pray that the, that the right thing will be done and that the good salty people will come forward and, and uh, challenge all the legality against this um, referendum. The referendum was to leave Brexit, leave Europe. It was no, and then we got then 
and then it's pulled out of the bag. Oh, what about a deal? Well, why didn't? Why wasn't that put on the table in the first place? You know, the option of a deal. How? Why was that admitted? And now we're playing all this media for the media spin and circus for the last few years. It's disgusting. And about the Supreme Court, the the uh, media shooting and the um, camera panning above the all C and I because of the layout of the furniture. So. You know, what is really going on in our country and nation? What are we really up against? So, I'm just appealing to, for truth and uh, honesty and some sincerity for the, the people suffering, people dying in the hospital, uh, the NHS overburdened, infiltrated, privatised, machinations going on within people in authority, bumping people off and, and, and like brazenly doing it and getting away with it. Oh, that must never happen again. But it continually happens and there's people being persecuted in their homes for speaking out of electronic weapons we've got all this 5g and you've got all the experts all the all the people who who know what they're talking about know all the science know all the physics and they've and it's been known for since the 1930s the effects of this this um radiation and uh, the sickness it causes the glaucoma cancers um, all sorts of problems, strokes, uh, uh, problems with the uh, biology, you can't rest, you know, I'm not getting any rest, I've got this constant tone playing in my home, and I, I don't know who's on the end of it, I've got vibrations coming up through the floor to keep me awake all night, and I'm not getting any rest, so I'm just appealing for something to be done, something honest and lawful and truth, truthful to be done. Um, first John, um, Chapter two. If you if you are safe, your Majesty, uh, you know this. But the anointing which you have received of Him abideth in you. Him being our Lord Jesus Christ, being born again of His Spirit, of His of His grace, of His power. And you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and neither is it. Even as it, it have taught you, you shall abide in him. Let's have a look at John 14, verse 16. Uh, 26, rather. Uh, These things have I spoken unto you, being, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he should teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So there's the promise of the believer. We have the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. We have the Lord to trust upon. Um, and we have the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and the grace of God, and the completeness. Um, Colossians 2, we are complete in Jesus Christ. We don't need any man to teach us. You don't need any man to teach you, Your Majesty. You've got, you've got the Lord. So may I suggest you uh, put the Lord on the throne, put, King, put the King James Bible on the throne, step down and have a holiday, and let the government sort it out, and you know, let them repent. Um, we're in a dangerous situation, and it, and people are wondering, you know, are they going to see the next day? Are they going to be able to? bear any any more of this torture and all these lies and confusion uh, transgender being taught in schools you got is a uh, Sharia law being lived in our own streets that we're not allowed to walk around anymore so I don't know if you're a prisoner to the Pope and, and you're being and being bullied but I think you should be honest about it and uh, um, this whole this whole thing about brexit is illegal. Uh, and may I, may I suggest that all the people who want to remain in Europe, why don't we put them on a Hercules and drop them off in Vatican City? Um, let's be honest and true. That's lawful. If you, want to, if you want to talk about lawful on the media, oh, the government are going to keep the law. Well, let's keep the law then. Let's stand by the law. Let's honour our Lord and God and stand by the law, because I am sick to death of this... I nearly swore, but this rubbish, these, uh, this political spin and the clear, obvious light of day, in the light of day, what's going on in our country, it's disgusting. So 
I am praying, I'm just going to pray and appeal to your heart to to actually do something. And if you can't do any, anything, I, um, I, I, I give up. I mean, it's hopeless. I, I'm going to seek residence in another country if I can get out of this country because I'm a prisoner to this country. I'm, I'm, I don't know quite... You know, you're told one thing, but when but reality tells you something else. I've I've been lied to by uh, doctors, by the Department of Work and Pensions, by by the police. Uh, the police aren't they're not they're, they're not standing by their constable oath. They're not arresting people. We've got a paedophile problem. You've got the corruption in the uh, military intelligence. You've got the corruption in the in the uh, police force, you've got corruption in the the NHS, and it's there's a problem, and it's not been dealt with. It's just been pasted over with uh, whitewash, and that won't stick. That won't last. That will bring our nation into judgment. So I'm just praying and appealing that something something lawful gives, and uh, we can get out of this mess and move forward. You know it's. Um, you, uh, you look at CERN and, and all the uh, what's really going on there, these scientists claiming that they're, well according to research there's a, um, a gentleman called Anthony Patch, uh, a Christian, a professing Christian who's done all this research. Now I, I can't speak for Anthony Patch um, and his, if his research is accurate but um, going on his uh, research and other people's uh, research and the obvious um, imagery of CERN and the people behind it and the investment behind it, it's a state within a state. You've got this Hadron Collider cooking the earth, we've got this global warming crisis rolling out and then 5G is the most dangerous thing for the environment. It's going to affect um, also, also was, according to experts, according to the expert who uh, Mr. Barry Trower, the uh, person who was originally commissioned to see if it was safe, but his uh, his knowledge, his training by the military, um, and he's a professor he's a, of this technology, he's been rejected and and spat out. So it seems like you're you're um, making money off the back of this while people are suffering the side effects and the anxiety of having all these pylons go up and then if you say anything you're persecuted. If you say anything about the corruption in the in the in, in the, the all, all the private uh, housing estates that are going up. I've I have i have experienced it first hand. These are criminals, they threaten you indirectly, pay criminals to harass you in your own home. So if you want to talk about law, I really suggest that you um seek the Lord and uh, resolve this and um, just know that you've got people praying for you, you've got people, you know, we're a Christian nation but there's no mention of Christ, he's been kicked out and we've got Islam, it, what is Islam, you know, the, what does the Quran say about Islam, regardless of what um, some of these kind Muslims that, that serve our nation faithfully, not, it's not about what they believe it but teaches what does the what does the Quran teach it teaches to kill Christians and Jews well there's that's breaking the law that's anti-semitism and anti-christianism it's anti-christ and um, it's promoted it's it's elevated like a uh, homosexuality you've got homosexual priests women priests well that's unbiblical um, men laying with men According to the Old Testament and the New Testament, the heart, mind, and will of God—it's an abomination, and it's it, it's hypocrisy, and that's what the world sees as Christianity. And and people need to be saved. People need to know that where to go to to for salvation, and what this the purpose of life, and and throughout school, throughout every school and college, they're, they're promoting a Darwinism, which is which was proved to be an error. It's, it's unscientific, it's unfactual. So I'd like to know where um, Prince Harry got his knowledge from, who's, you know, who's um, advising your, your family, you know, your dear family, about uh, the, getting swept up in the global crisis. What about the 
people crisis? What about the civilian crisis? What about the elderly crisis and the children crisis and all these diseases coming forward and and, and then the talk of force feeding people inoculations? What about all the uh, known science, the known scientific knowledge regarding inoculations and the dangers of it? And I'm not talking about uh, getting my information off of YouTube. I'm talking about researching factual information that just so happens to be posted on YouTube because you can't find it any you can't find any discussions and where to research anywhere else because the mainstream media dominates this rhetoric of um, a Punch and Judy show. So I, I just want to appeal to our our, um, our, our, our powers that the, that the Lord has granted to put you on your throne. And, and our, our government to um, do the right thing and support support the truth and stand for the word, stand for the faith. You, uh, the King James was a defender of the faith, Oliver Cromwell was a defender of the faith. Um, I don't see you defending the faith, I don't see you defending me and um, I'm defending you, I am praying. Um, in, 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 that's the only way I can support is, is my prayers to appeal to the Lord to assist, to assist you, to assist our government and to, you know, to um, help the world find the gospel amongst all this um, Roman Catholicism that uh, is dominating the harlot is, and, and all the whores in bed with us. So I, I just, you know, let God be true and let, let us be found liars. Um, you know, there's none righteous, no, not one. I'm not righteous. Uh, the Lord's my righteousness, and I, 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 I just appeal, is he, and ask the question, is he your righteousness, your majesty? And I'm the close there in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I hope, I hope this touches you, and, uh, you know, assists you, and uh, perhaps there'll be a, a change, there'll be some... There'd be some movement in our country that we can get out of Europe like we voted for, like the nation voted for, and we can move forward in, you know, stronger rather than being weakened by this enemy, by this power that seems to have on both arms of our nation behind its back. And, and, and what the public see is a load of, a load of lies and hypocrisy and, and the, um, the, the predominance of the media um, stirring up the soup, playing double double speak it, it, it's really too much and it cannot go on so I'm going to close it in Jesus name anyway. oh just a quick PS um, regarding CERN and uh, the Holy Word um, Hebrews chapter 4 uh, verse 12 for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even, uh, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. Um, Third Timothy, Second Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen and seventeen. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto uh, all good works. So every believer has been, thanks to King James, we, we have the King James Bible. I'd like to ask, well, what, what Bibles do you have in your churches? I'm not really sure. I don't think it's the King James which you've which you've, um, I believe, is, um, which you defended in your coronation. I may be wrong. That may have been Queen Elizabeth II, uh, the first. But um, regarding the Holy Word, we have the Holy Word to examine truth. We have the Lord and the Holy Spirit to know what's right and what's wrong. So any believer can examine uh, information and uh, measure it and check it and grow and learn and to know what is true and what, what what's not true it's that simple it's that wise the Lord is wise he gives wisdom uh, uh, Psalm 19 
on the red side of 19. Because I'm um, suffered dissociation. I'm a vulnerable adult. I've never had any protection from our law or government. So I am speaking out on behalf of uh, vulnerable people, for the poor, for the needy, for the weak, for the elderly, the vulnerable. Look at all the abuse in the children's homes. Look at all the abuse in uh, elderly homes. And it, what is going on? Uh, Psalm 19, verse 7, the law of the Lord, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Uh, the simplicity of Christ, your majesty. Uh, regarding CERN, according to uh, research and open, what, what the people of CERN are openly stating is that they're trying to break through, rip open the veil between dimensions. This is completely demonic. It's a law unto itself, it's like Vatican City, it's a law unto itself. And other, and other places in the uh, world I, I, I dare not mention, but it is a law unto itself and they're attempting to break through the veil. They've got Shiva, the, the uh, pagan god, outside their, uh, outside their uh, offices and they're firing... <laughs> It, how, much, how much energy does it take to drive that thing? Apparently it's about uh, twice as much force as it takes to revolve the Earth, the gravitational pull of the Earth. It's twice as much energy to, to get it running. So how much heat is that generating? And you're talking about global warming crisis. Uh, what about the, the crisis of, of telling the truth? So... Um, there's just so much to mention, so I wanted to um, include, I forgot to include that point because um, there's just overwhelmingly too much to mention about what is going on in this country and, and I'd just like, like, people, like people to consider, well, what's it like from our end, you know, looking up at what's going on in, in, in government, in our, in our nation and its involvement with uh, the powers of Europe, the unbureaucratic, we didn't vote, we didn't vote for them powers in, yet they're running us. So why are they running us and, and what's the hook? Who, who, who's the instigator and who's blackmailing us to do its bidding? Um, so I think that, you know, put the King James Bible on the throne and that'll be our law. That would be our God, that would be our law, the Lord Jesus Christ and his word, his holy word. Put that on the throne and let the, let the government knock their teeth out against it, try and overturn it because they can't. It's God's word, it's preserved and he's faithfully preserved it. Psalm 12, he's going to preserve it forever. Now unless, unless, unless the whole world goes into perdition and starts burning all the King James Bibles, well then the, then the Christian body will be out of here and, and then all the wicked people will get their own way. Psalm 2, I know the Bible, I've studied the Bible. I'm simple and it's made me wise because of my Saviour Jesus Christ. So, Your Majesty, if you're not saved, I pray. I pray of all my heart that you you come to faith and be born again. And, and you save your house, you save your loved ones, you save your husband. You know, you share the gospel with them. I don't, I don't know their hearts. The Lord, the Lord looks upon their hearts. He knows, and I trust the Lord. And I just pray that all your house will be saved, all your household, all the people you love, all the people you care about, all the things in your heart, all, all your burdens will be lifted. I pray that you put your burdens on the Lord. Uh, I think it's First Peter chapter five, put, or Second Peter chapter five. Place all your cares upon your heavenly Father. Because um, the devil's a roaring lion, and he he has sift us, and he will he sifted this nation. He's 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 got it scattered and uh, chained, and um, I don't understand Oliver Cromwell, but he seems he seems to be like somebody who recognised the threat and took up took up the responsibility, got into power, and violently had to get these people out. He had to fight and spill blood. I I, I don't want to see any blood spill. I don't want to see any lives lost. I don't. I don't want to think that people um, get.
get killed and go to hell. I, I'd rather see them repent. I'd rather see them mercy. You know, mercy is a stronger law than justice. You know, and the Lord's merciful is stretched out, not only to our nation, but to every nation and every citizen in every nation. So I appeal to people. You know, I, I don't know the outcome. I don't know all things we see darkly. And I don't want to speak out of turn and speak evil of people, but I just want to speak the truth, season with a little bit of salt, and just uh, invite people to seek the Lord God and be saved, and to know that the Lord's faithful and He's true, and He should be feared, and He's not feared. And we've got this brazen wickedness going on through our Parliament, through our Houses of, houses of Lords, House of Commons. And, and I can see that you, that the royal family and the royal powers are powerless to do anything. Uh, parliament was prorogued and that was all contested. Well, what about contesting? Uh, what about contesting all the people trying to stop Brexit? Where's the law there? You know, it's all, all quickly brushed over with a new story, one after the other. Now we've got the global warming crisis. You know, that's probably made, that's probably got all the technology in the world that can make these things happen. And then cry, oh, we've got a global crisis, and you've got little girls being put up on the pedestal to go and be a little idol and hero. You know, that's wrong. Where are our parents? Who are our, who, who are our parents? You know, who's helped her up there uh, to get running, you know, to use her, use that little girl's heart, prayed around like there's a crisis, you know. I don't think that's quite honest. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I can see that we're not looking after our planet. Well, there's nothing new under the sun. Uh, we've never looked after our, our planet, really. We've all, because of greed, because of mammon, because of money. Um, now, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's wrong to be prosperous and make money, but it's the love of money and the greed and the iniquity, the unfairness of it. And we're in now up up to debt in our eye, up up to our eyeballs in debt, and it's all the poor people who've been put up for collateral. It's just um, it's it's just wrong. It's not fair, and it's not lawful. So I, I wanted to add that um, P.S. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.